Okay, okay, okay. So, there is 12. I don't want 10. Okay, five, 12. I'm gonna slide that till I'm on the 12. Okay, 512 rafter, pivot. I always come in a little from the end. This is our common scale. That's hip valve. You will only use this if you're cutting a hip or valley. If you're cutting common rafters or jacks, they will always be common scale. So this is a 512. I'm gonna line that up. Has to be the same edge as the pivot point. And if you wanna just use a rafter square, then we have 512, but as you can see, it doesn't go far enough, so here's how you can take care of that. Let's just pop that guy off. We're gonna go to 10, we're gonna double everything. So if it's a 512, that's the same as a 1024. Hey, that's kinda nice, that is 24. So I'm just gonna line that up with my finger, slide over 10, and there we go. Precision, baby. Okay, so the span of our roof, triangle, 37 foot, 11 and one half. I want center and I also have to subtract the ridge, which is five and a half. So I'm gonna go 37 foot, 11 inch, one half, minus our five and a half inch ridge. So minus 5.5 inches. Now I'm gonna divide by two. 18 foot nine is my run. That is from the edge of my ridge. That's my run, five inch pitch. That's that slope. My diagonal, 20 foot three and three quarters from my plate to the edge of the ridge. And because I'm gonna add a heel stand, I'm measuring the top of my rafter. Okay, 20 foot three and three quarters. 20 foot three and three quarters. Now, same thing, pivot point goes right on my length. And I always just use my middle finger. I can incrementally adjust it. Pivot, five on the 512 common. This is my plumb cut. My heel stand is 11 inches. I just rotate the square. I like, I like squares like this because they're cheap and I can abuse them. I don't have to take care of them and they don't ever get bent out of square unless they get run over. We can check it here, line up the 10, same thing over here with my finger. It's just, I like to use my fingers because I can just feel that, right? So it's a 10, 24 is the same as a 5, 12. This is my plumb portion. So right on the money. Now for my tail, I just burn the amount. So we're using 16 inch soffit. We have 7 16 OSB zip panels. They're green zip panels. And then I add a quarter because I like to have a little bit of slop. That's how we built those back walls. I mark the end. That's the back side of the fascia or the outside of the subfascia. Inch and a half is the back side of my subfascia. So this is the one that I want. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go 512. Once I get this lined up, I can just hold it there with my finger, slide it over, 512, mark it long. Now we're gonna rip our tails, five and a half inches. Easy enough. Here, let's go this way. Got something on the board there. So two by six tail for all intensive purposes. This would be our subfascia. I should have been an artist. And the subfascia, we've already drawn this out before. We know that it's just below this, and that's why we picked five and a half. And then our fascia itself, look at that line, would be like that. Thankfully, the material is much straighter than my cut, <laughs> or my drawing. So now, let me show you how I cut that out, because we also can get our blocks, 22 and 7 sixteenths. Might as well mark it while I'm here. So we get our block while we're here. That'll save a step. 
later. There's our pile of blocks. Now, here's how I'm going to cut this. I like to leave the base plate loose. Okay, there's my scrap. One piece, makes it easier to throw in the trash pile. Last cut, of course. Okay, that is it. Now, yeah, I don't like that. So you can see we overcut just enough for the scrap to fall out. That's different, by the way, than over notching. If we flip the rafter over, Look at that, wood overcut. Let me see if I can show that. So because it's a round blade, we come to, hopefully that is seeable. I cut just enough past. So really it's not overcut this full distance, but it's essentially half coming through there. And that only relates to the tail strength. We're transferring bearing to our wall here. Two by six with subfascia, soffit, sheathing, this tail will never see enough load for that to begin to crack out. If you did notice cracking in this, then you should get rid of the rafter, and that's why we have this pile here that we're going to send back. So you can see the flex there. That guy, there's no way I'm going to use. And these things cost $122 a piece, so I'm not going to cut it into blocks either. We just get rid of it. Now, last thing. P for pattern. That is a common rafter, and that is how you lay out and cut the bird's mouth. Always clean up your scrap as you go.